Southeast Asian leaders are gathering in Laos for a high-stakes ASEAN summit, with Myanmar's civil war and escalating tensions in the South China Sea taking center stage. Now, the ASEAN summit will be followed by two days of meetings with global powers, including China, US and Russia, which are contending for influence in the region. The 10-member Association of Southeast Asian Nations is struggling to find a way to make member Myanmar comply with the peace plan to resolve a worsening crisis that has killed over 5,000 people since the army ousted a civilian government in 2021. The bloc is also grappling with China's increasingly assertive posture in the South China Sea that has led to fresh confrontations this year with ASEAN members Philippines and Vietnam. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be in Laos to attend the 21st ASEAN India Summit. India's role in the region continues to be important, especially amid the growing competition for influence between global powers. The US, represented by Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, will focus on human rights situation in Myanmar, China's behavior in the South China Sea and the war in Ukraine at the summit. Washington is also voicing concerns about China's support for Russia as the geopolitical landscape shifts. As the ASEAN summit proceeds, all eyes are on how the region will address these critical challenges. And now the ASEAN way, right over left. Okay. All right, for more on this, our assistant editor for Foreign Affairs, Siddhant Sibyl, joins me live on the broadcast. Siddhant, uh, let me start off with this. India's role in the region is crucial. What would be some of the key points of discussion during the summit? Well, uh, the Indian Prime Minister will be in Lao for two days, uh, starting Thursday, and he will be back uh, by Friday. Essentially, the focus will be the India-ASEAN Summit and the East Asia Summit. Uh, but essentially, if we talk about India's role in Southeast Asia, the first 100 days of the Modi government in the third term has seen intensive engagement. The Indian Prime Minister was in Singapore, Brunei, the Indian President was uh, uh, in uh, uh, East Timor and of course uh, Fiji of course she traveled to New Zealand as well but uh, essentially we know that the focus has been on act East policy. In fact, this year marks 10 years of uh, uh, the Indian government's Act East policy and focus is to increase engagement, whether it's connectivity, whether it is more people-to-people -people interaction or whether it is focusing on how to deal with the challenges of the region, whether it's Myanmar or whether it is a very aggressive China. Siddhant, uh, China would be viewing this very carefully as well because China's name is going to come up very evidently in this summit give us a sense of you know how they would be viewing this entire summit because whether it's malaysia whether it's vietnam whether it's philippines there are enough nations who have a lot of wars with china and the south china sea well when it comes to asean summits when it comes to the asean grouping uh the statements, the joint statements do not directly criticize China given that understand the value of China in terms of a big trading partner. Uh, but essentially, repeatedly, we have seen the uh, ASEAN summit meetings issuing joint statements calling uh, for essentially when it comes to South China Sea issue being resolved of uh, the UNCLOS, that is uh, uh, the UN law of seas being followed. And essentially this time as well, I do expect a, a conversation on similar Similar lines. In fact, the focus is to develop uh, a code of conduct uh, that is being jointly negotiated by the ASEAN grouping and, of course, with China as well. But uh, there are, of course, other countries, yes. uh, the dialogue partners who will be participating, whether it's India, whether it's Japan, others, and they, of course, will be very vocal about this issue. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us, Siddhant. That was Siddhant Sibyl, our assistant editor for foreign affairs, getting us the latest on what to expect on the upcoming summit.